Marshall defeated the Indiana Hoosiers 1 0 in Jamil Roberts' goal. And Hurd will start off with possession early. As this is a Stanford team and talking with Chris Grassi and Jeremy Gunn, they will play very direct. Back for Sterngard. Sterngard rolls it into the middle. Now off to Simone or on the inline. Simone crosses off the body that time of Garcia Pasquale. They like to basically jam it down your throat and finish in the goal. Again, this is a Stanford side as now Garcia Pasquale goes down and a card's going to come out against the Cardinal as Garcia Pasquale is rising in pain for Marshall holding that the men's basketball team is top 25. Of course, the softball team a couple years ago made the softball college world series. Baseball had a top 10 draft pick and chased the lotter, a West Virginia native. Bank far side sends it into the 18 high in the air off of a couple of heads and volleyed away by Marshall. Tried to be settled by the Cardinal. Can't do so. Ball played back into the 18. And a shot on goal from Stanford. And into the back of the net for Jackson Keel. Keel takes the 1 0 lead over Marshall with 29 45 to go in the first. The ball played back in that time by Dunn. Just volleyed in the air. Dugan tried to get in front of Keel. Couldn't do so for Alex Sterngard. Sends it in, near side, tried to back heel at that time was Dugan, can't do so. Marshall still with it, and the box bell rolls it. Knocked away by Stanford right on the end line. Something that I picked up on. I'll, I'll finish the thought here in just a moment. Simone works it in, headed away by the Cardinal. Sternguard plays it in the middle, looking for Okiyoshi, knocked away, but Okiyoshi comes in that time. Dylan Hooper. Near side, Bank with it again. Bank goes down, and a foul's gonna be called by Pablo Simone. As now, a card is going to come out on the Stanford bench. Three, the street, two, and four. Stanford just going to let the first 45 roll out. 1-0, Stanford with the and lead at the half. The Jackson Keel gets zero, the goal for the Stanford Cardinal. One. Couple ponchos on some fans here in attendance as it's not really raining hard, but it is very lightly misting. As we mentioned right at the second half, we might, thought we might see some rainfall around 2 o'clock today. Side Gadar up ahead, Bell. Bell gets tripped up from behind, and a foul's going to be called on Stanford. As I believe after the fact, Bell, I think, crashed into the leg of a Stanford player. As the foul will get called. A lot of the attack going through him early on here in the second half. Sternguard raises the right hand, brings it down, sends it across towards the back post, punched away. Now one touch that time by Gadar. And Schnebly grabs it out of the air just inside the six. Stanford's going to try and possess as much as it can. As the ball nearly taken away, and a foul's going to be called on the Thundering Hurt. Theo Gadar gets the yellow as Bohane goes down. As, to be honest, I'm starting to lose track of cards. That's number six of the match. And then just a thrashing. 4-0 is the ball is mispossessed by Marshall, shot on goal. Perota, excuse me, mispossessed by Marshall, shot on goal for Stanford that rolls wide. Chris. Credit Stanford for a lot of that. Absolutely. Ball played back to Stanford, into the box. A couple players with opportunities now. Right-footed strike off the post and in. Will Riley put Stanford up 2-0 with 29.02 to go on his fourth goal of the season. See the beautiful touch back to Riley. Found open space in the box. Marshall far side. There's Pinto crossing. Player home. That's Garcia Pasquale. Crashes into a Stanford player at the top of the six. Adam Ayo match down the near side for Marshall going up against Dunn. Dunn's going to beat him to the ball, though, as he crashes into Ayo mesh. And card's going to come out for. Adam Iomesh. Adam Iomesh cuts into the top of the 18, off for Bell. Bell coming towards the top of the 18, around the defender, right-footed strike, rolls just wide. As he continues to dribble towards the top of the 18, Bell plays it to Simone. Simone for Sordo. Sordo, right-footed strike, deflected by Stanford and out. Defeats UVA as the Hoosiers, who played in the national championship game last year, move on. Pass taken away, Stanford continuing on with it. Right-footed shot that time by the Cardinal. And Liam Doyle with his second goal of the match. And Stanford 
is up 3-0 on the Thundering Herd with nine and a half minutes to go. Creating the opportunity. It's just that team aspect. Just yeah. each player creating opportunities for one another. And for, for Garcia Pasquale, he's got to be careful because, again, he's got another year of eligibility. Cards do care. And now Alex Ajedi gets a yellow. Ball taken away by Stanford. Ball played up ahead as Godard comes sliding in, and he's going to get a yellow. And that'll be his second yellow, and he's done. So Godard's done. Multiple sh players shoving. And then Ajedi, I think, also got a red. And, but the clock's going to wind. Down to zeros for the Marshall 2023 season as Stanford picks up the 3-0 win, knocks the one seed Marshall out of the 2023 Men's Soccer Championships, and the Cardinal come away with the upset 3-0.